today we had the, the Eco Warriors uh, panel session and we're here today for the tasting. Hi, good afternoon everybody. Um, welcome to our Eco Warriors panel discussion. Everybody's doing something a little bit differently and there's no one size kind of fits all approach to sustainability at the moment. And I think it's so important that we have events like this where producers can talk about and share what they're doing with one another and, and with us as well so we can kind of learn so much more about it. People is, is taking notes about the sustainability to biodiversity. For me it's very important biodiversity. I think this is the, the message, no? And the people understand that the, all the industries, like the wine industry, is moving in this direction. It is like, a, I think, is the more important message today. What I found most interesting is that we don't know everything yet. The more you talk to a producer, the more you discover. Um, and we've got the most incredible um, array of producers here, and whether they're keeping bees or whether they're, they're packing into bulk or whether they're exploring other types of packaging or, or crop covers. Everyone seems to be doing their bit, whether they're small or, or large, and I think we're going to see that continuing in the future. I think you spend a lot of time getting in your own head as a producer about what is Spain doing, what are Italy doing, what are France doing differently, and the answer is nothing really. Everyone's doing the same. Um, it's just what you do that's capable and suited for your business, but all with the same end goal, which is to produce delicious wines that are true to their terroir, true to nature. For me, is that new people need to drink wine with typicity, with autochthone varieties, maybe organic, and always with the idea we make, um, maintain the tradition. The new people is coming, new, need open to a new varieties, no focus in only one concept, the, the wine world is very international. I think it's open the mind. It's like a book. No, it's, for me, it's not, it's not good to read only one kind of literature. You need um, a read more authors. And in the case of the wine, it's, it's the same. You can drink, in, in my case, I want open the, the mind. The people like drink Mediterranean, light, color, forest. I think it's been brilliant just to see how winemakers of every size, small, medium to large, um, can really make an impact in so many different segments. Um, because there is no one approach to sustainability, especially when we take into account um, how different climates are in different areas. So really it's about taking into, taking into account all of your own individual like small impacts that you can have. And that's really inspiring and I've definitely learned so much. Yeah, I think there's so much we can do with indigenous flora and fauna, and also what lives beneath the ground, mycelium, how we can make the soil happier, and in turn, make the vines happier, and in turn, make the wines more delicious. <laughs> I mean, in Bendham, obviously, we've been, you know, uh, really pioneering mindful winemaking, um, and I think we've got a great celebration today of those producers who are real pioneers, uh, which fits in beautifully with you know, Bibendum's whole ethos of finding new products, finding mindful producers, doing great wines, making great wines, but also, you know, with the planet firmly in mind. And I think that's fantastic. It's great to be here to celebrate that today.